Hey guys, this is Woodshop Junkies and in today's video I'm going to take a rotting tree stump and try and turn it into something beautiful and functional. Right, so some of you may remember when I moved into this workshop. That was about four years ago when my wife and I bought this fixer upper of our house and one of the first things we needed to do was to remove a tree that was damaging a prefab boundary wall. Back then I decided to keep the rooted part of the stump for a year or two to allow it to dry out and then hopefully make something with it. As I said that's about four years ago and the stump has moved from drying out onto rotting so it is time. Time to either salvage the stump and make something with it or discard it. Before I can make that call I'm going to clean up the stump, all the old pieces of bark, dirt and most rotten pieces of the wood. Okay guys, so before I jump in with today's video, I want to take a moment to thank my channel sponsor and the sponsor of this video, UPAT SA, along with their featured product, the Stabila LAX600 3-axis 360 degree wraparound self-leveling laser level. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on one of these lasers before they officially launched towards the end of last year, and since then I've used it for a number of projects like installing light fittings, electrical conduit, plumbing and tiling. Now if you want to know more about the Stabila LAX600 you can check out the first look and unboxing video I did for them on their YouTube channel, I will link it down below, or you can check out pricing and availability on the UPAT SA storefront. Alright guys, so in the 4 years since I've taken this thing out of the ground, it has gotten along nicely with its process of rotting and decay, so most of the bark came off quite easily. I had to dig out quite a lot of dust or the bark in the crevices, and then I needed to use an axe to remove some of the larger pieces of dead wood. So the stump seems to have 4 or 5 main or salvageable roots, but there's a whole bunch of smaller dead roots meshed in between that I will need to remove. Okay, so with the stump cleaned up, it looks a lot better. It was originally my intention to make a coffee table with it, but before I get too carried away, I need to flatten the stump and the root area before I can make that call. Then I need to decide on the orientation. First prize is having the roots at the top and capping it with a glass or epoxy top, but this might be unstable, so let's find out. To do the first stage of rough cutting I'm using a chainsaw. It's quick and dirty but it will give me the initial shape I need to work from. To the now kind of flat stump area I'm going to attach a plank, in the plank I'm going to set 4 T-nuts and using 4 bolts I'm going to try and get the best angle of the stump before I make the level or flat cut on the root area.
Then once again using the chainsaw I remove some of the excess wood around the perimeter before moving over to more or less flattening the root area. Okay, so now that I have the stump in this shape or in this condition, I'm able to make my decision. And I think I'm going to stick with my coffee table idea with the roots at the top. I think I might be able to pull it off. I might need to make a steel subframe or a base for it to stabilize it because I've got a lot of overhang at the top, but I'll decide on that towards the end. For now, I'm going to remove these unnecessary pieces that make the project look cluttered and then start the sanding before moving over to milling the top flat. Okay, so the chainsaw gave me the ability to get the stump into a workable state. From here, I'm using chisels to do some fine tuning on the shaping. There's still a lot of dead wood left on the stump, but at least now I'm starting to find some grain and pleasant wood patterns. After the first round of basic shaping with a chisel, I'm moving over to my small grinder with a sanding or flapper type disc to remove the outer layer of the stump which is basically just dead wood. Now guys, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat this. This project generated dust, a lot of it. My entire workshop was covered in dust and I've never realized how badly I want a proper dust collection system. As I was getting along and the stump was transforming, I did some additional shaping with the chisel to kind of get the stump into a direction that I find visually appealing. Okay, so now I've sanded it down to a point where I have it in a workable shape. Next I'm going to mull the ends and then continue sanding and shaping the stump.
Now to Mulder Stump, I slapped together a very crude and quick rata sled which will allow me to flatten both ends of the stump. I first did the root area referencing the attached plank with the leveling bolts. After that I flipped it over, removed the plank and did the stump area while referencing the rooted area that I did first. Okay, so with the ends mulled nice and flat, I can move over to the final sanding and shaping stage. Where the stump lacked a bit of character or contour, I added some with the small grinder, chisels and various other tools. Next it was time to move over to my favourite part of this project which was sanding. With a little bit more sanding. And ended off with some more sanding.
Okay guys, so the stump is pretty much finished and when I place it down with the roots at the top, it's surprisingly stable despite its small footprint, but that's because of the weight of the stump. Now I know I said that with my table I want the roots facing upwards, but now I'm second guessing myself because the other way also looks good. If I keep it like it is now with the roots at the top I might need to embed a very discreet steel cross at the base of the stump to help stabilize it. If I go with the other option which is the roots at the bottom I might need a much larger steel cross to support the glass top or I need to increase the thickness of the glass dramatically to support the overhang. In both scenarios the glass will be fixed in some way, I just haven't done it yet because I haven't made up my mind yet, so maybe you guys can help me out with my decision. So what do you guys think, roots at the top or roots at the bottom? Roots at the bottom will show off the contour of the stump very nicely but I think having a big cross at the top of the stump is not going to look that great. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below, I will consider all the options and post an update on the project in a couple of days. Then guys I know content has been a little slow lately and I apologize for that, I have been adjusting to some changes in my personal life but I am back at it and working on some great videos that I'll have ready for you guys in no time. Projects and videos that you can expect in the very near future on this channel include the restoration of a beat up old compressor that found its way into my workshop. I also recently built a couple of planter boxes for someone and I will post that in a day or two as a bonus video for you guys because I haven't posted anything in almost two months. Then I'm also working on a pixel art nightlight for my son's room and I was sent a very interesting joining method that I will go through with you guys. If you want to see those videos and you aren't subscribed yet, you should do that now. For now, however, as always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, cheers.